Hey, this is Rampant, coming to you live from the world famous comedy store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony Volume 4. Go for Tony Hensley! My, my, belt, my belt buckle's undone. Whoa. My belt buckle is undone as wait, fuck right now. Wait a second. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Look at this big pack crowd. Make some fucking noise Monday night. Josh Martin over there, Brian Redband to my left, ladies Hi. and gentlemen, Ryan J. E. Belt, the house artist, drawing this out of a blank sheet of paper right now. At the end of the episode, you're going to see that he drew tonight's episode right in front of your fucking eyes or whatever. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Happy Monday to you. You guys ready for a crazy fucking night or what? <laughs> wow. That was almost incredible comedy store. Kill Tony audience. Are you guys ready for a crazy fucking Monday night or what? There you go. Big stuff happening. A lot of fun stuff coming up. Tulsa, San Francisco, Sacramento, San Diego, and Boston. A bunch of oddball dates. Oddball.com. I'm doing amphitheaters again. For those of you listening to the live stream and the podcast, come see me live. Dates at TonyHinchcliffe.com. Fuck yeah. See what I did there? You were just in Cleveland with all the Trump supporters. What happened there? It was, was very that? it was very bizarre and I'm just glad to be uh, I'm glad to be back home. Yeah. Cle- Cleveland with Trump there is very weird. Yeah. Well, I mean the Republican convention, you have to know that the people that like travel to something like that are all very bizarre. It's like the cast of Book of Mormon except like 50,000 of them. Wow. And uh, it was pretty crazy. But there were more cops than anything else. There were cops from everywhere. The issue really isn't about... Uh, what, Josh? Stretch a little bit. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Stretch a little bit. Stretch it. Stretch a little bit. Um, fuck yeah, we will. We already were, but thanks for the info, Josh. I'm going to keep stretching. Stretch it. Uh, so yeah, Cleveland was fucking crazy. I like this audience. They're like very mellow. I think they're going to get into it, though. I can tell this is one of the ones that's just going to warm up as the night goes on. I think you guys are going to be very fucking excited when you see what we have in store for you. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, oh, Brian, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is there another guy drawing tonight's episode? Oh, there's sure. <laughs> what is that? Are we Ryan J? Oh, there's competition of artists. What nowadays. in the world is going on? You know, that's uh, that's a very talented artist. His name's Juan Manuel La Isabel. Did I say that right? He's been uh, probably go- not. He's been going through uh, the comedy store just drawing lately. And it's great to see you here, man. He's very talented. You can check out his artwork and stuff uh, after the show. Wow. A lot of you probably didn't hear Ryan J. Ebel just kill himself with a pencil uh, into his own throat as we just uh, promoted a, just basically a, you know, what would we call this? Like a hijacking artist yeah. almost. Sort of just like, I mean, there's no photography or videoing in this room historically, but uh, I'm pretty sure you're allowed to draw what's yeah. happening. So... If anybody else wants to draw tonight's episode, you could just take one of those comedy store menus that are on the table. I know you think that they're menus and they shouldn't be drawn on, but that's what they're there for. Uh, fuck yeah, nice and quiet. I like the sound in this room. Uh, there's a really good energy so far. You know, this is how I like it. I like to play in the dark. I was built here in the dark. I'm like the bane of the comedy store. You understand? I live for silence. A lot of comedians, they need continuous laughs to help with their confidence. I got that. All right? I'm in good shape. I was just informed we are ready to go. Bring it back, uh, Pat Reagan. Ladies and gentlemen, you know them. You love them. It's the Kill Tony Band. It is Pat Reagan and Joel Jimenez, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. The fog machine. Wow. 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 That's awesome. What? What the? What the fuck? <laughs> His ball's hanging out. Jeez, Brian, you really hit the nail on the head with that one. And your notes are showing, man. Wow, I love this. You would love that. It was Ghostbusters <laughs> last week. Uh, Pokemon Go the week before. Uh, always topical intros. Yeah, man. Which makes me wonder, why, why, why Cheech and Chong this week, guys? Is that what that was? 
Or is it like... Yeah, man, man, I'm Chong, man. Man. That's Cheech. Really? I thought you were a retired Mario and Luigi or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> is a rose by a different name not a rose? <laughs> hey, that's Cheech. Fuck man. yeah, Joel hey, Jimenez. Hey, man. Hey, man. Do you hear about Santa Clarita, man? Oh, that's pretty good. It's up in smoke. <laughs> hey, man, I started that fire, man. I dropped a doobie. It's so funny watching Pat realize he won't be able to play the harmonica with that beard on at all. Just, we all got to witness him realize it at the, all at the same time. You work, man. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Nothing can stop us. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Is this, is, it, is this guy with you? <laughs> Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> oh, whatever's happening right now, it's the worst. Do you, guys, do you know this? Is he with you guys? No, I don't know. Oh, he must be, right? Pat? Yeah, he must be. That's why Pat wouldn't look at me. No, no, no. Is it with, he's with you, right? Do you, are you, were you informed about that? No, I was going to say, not. I absolutely I mean, love humor. <laughs> um, well, but, uh, hey, dude, have a seat, man. Um, <laughs> no, no, back in the crowd, man. What? Go back to the crowd, man. I, is this okay or? Josh, Josh, why <laughs> did you just give me double thumbs up? Um, for the guess or because seat. this is so, okay? This one, I really have lost control of my own show. <laughs> I mean, it's really impressive. Just everybody leaving me hanging. <laughs> this is Honestly, this a, hey. is weird, man. I, in a lot of ways, I was laughing over there, like a freaking hyena or something. Like, uh, um, but then I was, then, and then I, and, and then I, almost, now I'm here, man. And, man, just have um, a seat, man. In a, in a lot of ways, it's ironic that I'm here at the comedy store because I'm funny. Yes, I am, and I might as well be here. Get off, man. <laughs> um, ho- hello, or um, is it okay? Would you play an instrument? Actually, yes, I do have a a bell. Um, ring a ling a ling or something. Um, ding dong, the witch is dead. Or um, which or which which way or something like that. Um. I have. Uh, what is going ow, on? Do you ouch. know about this? Um, no. He pit Is he the, with you? I have it. No, man. Is he really not with you? No, man. Really? I brought, I brought my so taser. So when I asked you that ten back. times, hello, five. ding dong, the wit or the wicked witch of the west or something Get off like that. The stage, man. Josh, uh, is the, this is or like a wi- thing on me? Ring a ling, man, or something. Um, is this right? You guys, you guys wrote this. Um. Hip, hip, er, okay, I have it. I have humor. Okay, dude, what are you uh, doing, man? It's fucking up the show. Shut up, dude. We're fucking up the show. You fucking. Idiot. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, or something. Um. I'm so uh, high, man. How much uh, longer is it? I'm so high, how man. How much longer I don't is your guys' skit? Um. Hip. Er. <laughs> hey. Hey. Er, man. Just have a seat, man. Yeah. Can you sit down and join you, man? It's I'm not there, right man. What are you doing? Why do you keep crouching when I say have a seat? Hit, uh, this is older. Hip hip hooray! Halloween is here, but no it's not the ghoulies, know. ghosties, or goblins. I fear. What are you saying? It, um, hip hip hooray! Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, Halloween is here, but it's not the ghoulies, ghosties, or goblins. I fear. Hey man. It's the ten pounds of sweet treats that have come straight to my rear or whatever. Um, man. Less is more. <laughs> what are you doing? Stand up. That's the te- that, that. What's that. your name, dude? <laughs> All right, might as well. Um, my name is Jay. Hello. Um, I apologize for that weird entrance. Uh, yes, I admit that was awkward. And in my head, I was saying that awkward moment when Jay comes up on the stage and it's weird or whatever. But I am. I'm. Overall, 
happy to help or something. Just whatever, man. You're fine. Just stop talking. Just. Pat, just, how just, much longer is this thing? What's the end? This is like the really the worst. I don't know, man. <laughs> Do you know him? I don't know. I know him, yeah. Oh, okay. So this is the thing. Thanks, that- man. Finally, someone gets my back. <laughs> Um, I feel as though I'm out of freaking fish out of water here. Um, Did you tell him how the show works, Pat, yeah, at all? Man. Does he know what's going on tonight? Yeah, man. He said he wanted to get up and join the band, and I said, don't do that. And then he came up on stage and did this. Oh, gotcha. ring a ding a ling How well do you know him, Pat? I mean, I've been camping with him a couple of times. <laughs> Oh hey, my God, uh, Jay! Jay, I, why don't you have a seat, man? So we could, so we could like. When working with creative risk takers goes wrong, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a what, very special. What is episode. wrong, man? I'm happy to be here. You have I'm a microphone. Ha- That's what's wrong. Well, who are you? What is I, happening? I'm happy to help. Put the <laughs> mic back in the mic stand. Um, Do it, man. Stand up. Do it. Stand up. Oh my God. Whatever. I this take is, direction. Well, <laughs> this is mind blowing to me. Should I get my taser from my backpack? Um. That would be fun to tase this guy. And see Has he been here before? He's really Do funny. He's, he's, no, he's actually, if you give him a chance, he's really positive and funny. Yeah, um, We've given him uh, like uh, seven and a half yeah. minutes. Here he goes. Right. Here goes nothing. Um, Is he about to try to be funny uh, right now? Um, of course, I like to go to restaurants all around town, buddy. All around town. Um, and the other day, I was at, at, at a, a group with a group of comedians. And of course, even though I'm on stage at the time, I'm still trying to get a laugh. Um, and, what ha- and, 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 and of course, I'm at a restaurant by UCB Franklin, known as Bert's. Or, um, and, I, and, I, and I say to the guy, or I say, the, um, and we're going around the table, and we're saying, of course, what kind of bird am I? What kind of bird am I? Um, and I and Jay, I, you got to stop, man. You got to stop. You got to stop that story and just stop talking, man. Yeah. Yeah. Go sit in a, uh, go sit in a, uh, somewhere else. In another room or something. Grab Wait, your beer. What? Grab your beer. Pat, tell him what to do. Jay, Jay, grab your beer, grab your bell, sit down next to me and mellow out. Put the mic back in the mic stand. Or, who, my, Pat, who is this guy that's yeah, hijacked yeah. the first 10 minutes of the show? Are you going to get this control of it? or? Here, man. Take some of these. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no idea what's happening. but I, He's giving him pills. Very compelling episode so far. <laughs> Whoa, man. Oh, no. These are the wrong pills, Tony. Is this like Crap! some kind of or, homage to Cheech and Chong you guys are doing tonight? Crap! Or something. Um, All right, just sit down. This is 20 minutes too not long. Not there. Not Bro, there. Sit down. Jay, not there. Man. Come on. Be positive. Sit down. <laughs> Keep it positive, man. Pat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can I talk to Pat and not uh, Tommy Chong for a second? I'm Chong, man. All right. <laughs> that, that's, that was awful. Yeah, that was probably the worst thing ever. Yeah. Uh, I mean, really. <laughs> Truly. It's just a simple bell. <laughs> oh, God. It's just my least favorite kind of comedy in the world. It's like that bad, I got nothing, so be goofy, I'll never be Andy Kaufman type of shit. It's almost mind-blowing. Never in a million years. That's why you took a nice swig of the beer on that one, because you know it's so true. He's incredible. I really... Well, he did not show it at all tonight. Uh, I gave him a nice big chance. He got me. I'm not listening to that bell this entire episode at all. (laughs) Fuck yeah. There you go. The umpire. I like that. You know what? We got some meathead army coming out. (laughs) This is amazing. I like it. Uh, clearly, the band did mushrooms today yeah. and <laughs> just didn't mi- really just warn us. Just microdosing, dude. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, we have not really started the show yet tonight. Uh, <laughs> it's a show that where we uh, where we talk to comedians after they do sixty seconds on stage. I have a bucket full of comedians, and uh, every single week I have two amazing comedic guests on the show to talk with people that after they do their 60 seconds. Tonight's no different. Put your hands together for two of the best, two of our favorite returning guests, Steve Simone and David Arquette. 
Make some fucking noise. The best. David Arquette is back. Steve motherfucking Simone. This is awesome. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Yeah. How are you? Awesome. Uh, you just missed some crazy shit, or maybe you didn't. Oh, yeah. We heard it. He killed. Com- commitment. <laughs> he literally killed Tony. <laughs> I almost killed myself. Uh, <laughs> true commitment at its finest, because yes, none sir. of it worked. Um, so, <laughs> you know, it's good. It depends though. on your freaking definition, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Really good one there. You made up for it on that one. Uh, I wonder I'm what just, the, I wonder I'm just what the saying. Re- I wonder what the real you is like. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe you'll find out one day. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Where's the horse of truth? Where's the horse of truth? Well, you're, su- <laughs> you're supposed to have that without asking out loud. Um, <laughs> fuck yeah. David Arquette, you are back. You're one of the uh, most epic guests on this show. Always, Thank you. Always fun. Last I- time you did an amazing magic trick. I guess I have no idea. I don't recall it at all. <laughs> it was very impressive. This is the first time I haven't been drunk in this room. It's, <laughs> it's bright. Yeah. It's bright in here. <laughs> I once roasted, when I first met you, I roasted you in this room. You hosted the roast of the Iron Sheik, and I lit you up nice. big time. Was it fun? It was really fun. <laughs> it was <so> fun. <laughs> I told you, uh, I told you I love you in the Scream movies where you're Deputy Dewey. How about you, Deputy, do not try to ever do comedy again? Something like that. <laughs> That's a good call. And then I said the only time I screamed during that movie was when I was yelling to get my money back. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You don't remember any of these? I was re- I was really I was really mean that night, so I'm sort of glad you don't remember all of them. Do you, do you remember when you caught whatever that was on fire and started making like some weird smoke thing during your set? You actually did a set that night. You know? Yes, did I? Yeah. Last time he was on, he pulled a uh, colorful handkerchief out of nowhere and he gave it to me, and I still have it. Fantastic. <laughs> I, held I have no it. magic tricks tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I could come out with my balls hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Steve Simone, welcome to the party. Thanks for having me, buddy. Always the best. One of the most positive and f- hilarious human beings in comedy. Always doing great stuff. You excited to hang out with new uh, comedians and people yeah, you haven't seen before? Yeah, I brought you ice guys, cream in the back for you people, did? too. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I, think it mel- good if they I, want I think it melted during the band intro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys know how it works For those of you that don't Over 50 comedians signed up Pieces of paper on this bucket to, For the chance to do 60 seconds on stage We get through a few of them Comedians, you know your 60 seconds is up When you hear the sound of a kitty you Better wrap it up then Or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear Yeah That's the one Yep, 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 yep Yep, okay all right. That was a freaking funny sound effect, dude. <laughs> I'm just, I'm grinning ear to ear. <laughs> Sorry, funny, funny. Oh, I have never, ever, ever really just been dying to see Jeremiah Watkins more than oh, I am right now. I mean, Can we take a moment of silence? Unbelievable. From that guy. That's fine, man. He's funny, too. God. I think you're funny. I know, I am. <laughs> I just said you're funny. Wow, I love that. Does that work for you in the, in the East, like Los Feliz and Silver Lake, that voice thing when you yeah. do it? People love that I, shit. I wear skinny jeans, and I'm a freaking hipster. Mocha chocolate grandes or something. I drink them all. Yeah. Uh, so I'm March of the Hipster on Silver Lake. Oh, wow, God. that's impressive. Normally they're not hacky, but like... I yeah, I guess I am a bit of a hack, but I am funny. <laughs> or autistic, one of the two. Wow. Pat, let's slide that a little more to the left, shall we? Like, all the way. Fuck yeah. I like it. All right. This is an exciting one tonight. Oh, God. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> normally, David Arquette uh, carries the uh, wildness of it. Pat took that over tonight. Pat's, uh, Pat's got control of the wild part. We have a mellow Arquette. I feel like your powers transferred to whoever that guy is over there. 
you better have a fucking magic trick by the end of this. And I don't mean pull a bell out of your pocket. I want you to figure it out and be quiet for like 45 minutes. There has to be, there has to be some like conclusion to this. Like he's going to take off his beard and it's going to be John Benet Ramsey or something like that. <laughs> that would be pretty fucking impressive. That, uh, wait, pretty oh, cool. whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Whoa. Dude. Hey man, I saw this guy kill in the flappers you who room. <laughs> the oh flappers you who room. That yeah, man, he was it. he was laughing hysterically, oh. and the audience just joined in. He didn't tell a single joke. Wow, that's so cool. Funny's funny. <laughs> oh jeez, I mean, really? Can you really make sure he doesn't talk anymore? Because it has worked zero percent. Let's just kick him off. Depends on your definition of work. I mean, Pat, I really love you. You know how much I love you. This one's, this one's bad. It all depends on your definition, but hey, I'll take it, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does depend on my definition. It definitely does. I'll take the feedback, but... Stop uh, talking. <laughs> you got to stop talking. Pat, you cannot let him talk Dude. every time he wants to. He's totally not funny. I don't care where you saw it work at. He's zero for a hundred. It's right. not working. No, you're right. I, it's not it's funny. It's the worst kind of annoying, too, because you could tell it's not him. He's just doing some, like, high-pitched character. He's right. He's right. This, is, yeah. this man's a genius. No, definitely not, Pat. <laughs> definitely not. I yes. promise, up and down, there's yes. no way. Definitely, was, yes. Definitely, yes, he's a genius. Yeah, Because man. he couldn't Sorry. do any worse. I can't figure out how, what he could do to be more unlikable and just absolutely... It all depends it. on your definition, man. Yeah, yikes. yikes. Sorry. Wow, a whole fucking big main room episode. Funny's funny, it. dude. You guys are really on it tonight. Let's start the show, <laughs> shall we, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, there's really not much else I can do. Yikes. Did I do something to you, Pat, or something? Like, is there something that I did to, like, offend you this week or something like that? Or, or do you really think it's funny? <laughs> <laughs> Deep down inside somewhere? Because it's so unfunny that it's hilarious. It's almost so bad it's good. <laughs> no, it's not. Nobody, nobody thinks that it's almost so bad it's good. That's why I'm sort no. of making a big deal about There's it. No, you know what, Tony? I'll, t I'll say this. Uh, people are afraid of things they don't understand. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, I understand it. I've analyzed yeah, definitely it. Definitely, you understand and it. I think it's bad. <laughs> I like how the mic's completely it's, cut off that one. <laughs> it's <laughs> fine to have the opinion. <laughs> Pat can talk, but he can't. I'm totally fine with that opinion. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I'm over at my friend's house and their parents are fighting. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, like, I, I think it's time for dinner. Unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know I mean, I want to take off my belt and slap him like he's my son. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'll just kill his mic the whole time, so if Pat wants to talk... Uh, just tell, you know. Look who got a promotion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Joel Jimenez. <laughs> Thank you, Joel. Okay, let's start the show. Let's see what happens. Comedians, you get an uninterrupted 60 seconds when you hear your name called, and then we talk to them about anything in the world afterwards. We'll get to learn more about them, find out who they are. I already pulled a name out of the bucket. Your first comedian doing an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight goes by the name of Channing Apodaca. Thank you. So I met my girlfriend online. Uh, anybody else have to Google the word sapiosexual after they downloaded Tinder? Just me? All right, apparently sapiosexual means somebody who's attracted to intelligence. But if that's what you're attracted to... Oh, and every single girl on Tinder claims to be one. If that's what you're attracting to, what the fuck are you doing on Tinder? <laughs> that's like applying to be an archaeologist at a Costco. <laughs> what you wanted was something intelligent, thought-provoking, adventurous. What you got is this giant place filled with poor, fat, dumb dudes just looking for free samples. And Tinder's fucking weird, man. It's, you just swipe right and you swipe left just based on one person's photo. You don't actually know these people. Every single one of these girls could potentially be your soulmate, you know, or at least that's what I tell them. <laughs> Little fun fact about Tinder, 75% of the girls on there are actually Asian. Side note to that is 100% of the Asians that hear this joke will double check my math. Thank you. Fuck yeah, Channing Apodaca. 
pretty new at stand-up, huh? How long have you been doing it? Uh, I'm going on two years. Where are you from? Um, Lancaster. Lancaster. Antelope Valley. Oh. That's About cool. an hour away, yeah. What do you do for work? Uh, I work in post-production. Very nice. Yeah. Industry. Yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> what, what was the actual word that you said? Uh, that you... Sapiosexual. Sapiosexual. Yeah, it's a real word. And Maybe... I really had to Google it. Yeah. Oh, well. Maybe say it slower because I, I didn't hear what you said. It's, and I heard a couple of people were like, what the fuck? Because oh, okay. you said it's so fast, and you don't even know what it is to begin with. So maybe go, it's called saposexual, you know, like spell it out for the audience. Because oh, sure. otherwise, other people are going to be like, wait, what do you say the whole time while you're trying to explain the joke? Yeah, I felt like I was kind of rushing it because I wasn't sure how much I was going to do. Right. Uh, so tell us something interesting about you, Channing, because that was like, you know, stand-up jokey, jokey pie. What's, what, who are you? Jokey pie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> jokey pie. He's, I'm he's just a jokey pie he's guy. He's funny. Oh, uh, I'm a pretty normal dude. Uh, I'm from Southern California, like born and raised. Got what do you comedy. like to do for fun? Um, really into hockey, which is like odd coming from SoCal. But uh, yeah, like roller hockey, ice hockey, ice hockey. Yeah. Well, you do that at you go find some ice rinks and do that. Yeah, there's a good amount of rinks out here, so you can like ice skate backwards. Yeah. Wow. Requirement. Par for the course. That's fun. Yeah. You, you ever you ever like go on dates with girls to the skating rink and you're like check out. What um, I, can do. I my I asked my high school girlfriend out by taking her to an ice rink and I put a little note in her glove and said, "Will you be my girlfriend?" And then I put it on her hand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. I like that. Awesome. <laughs> oh yes. Um. I love that. So, did she like that? Yeah, she said yeah. And then we dated for like six months and broke up. <laughs> How'd you break up with her? Uh, she broke left up a with note me. in her shoe. It was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he left a note in her shoe. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was like a weird situation where we were like having this argument like, are we going to stay together? Are we going to break up? All high school shit. And then... Uh, the, Zambo- the Zamboni days. guy came by and he said, it's over. <laughs> he spelled out done. <laughs> God, I love the new band leader. <laughs> yeah, the new band leader, Joel Jimenez. Joel, Joel Jimenez and the uh, other guys. <laughs> oh, shit. What a fun one. Uh, that's so cool, Channing. Why did you guys break up after six months? Um, I, on, I don't even know. It was, it was about ten years ago. She was just kind of a bitch, and I was a... I was like a... Little pussy? Yeah, I was a little yeah. pussy. Literally, the night that we broke up, I was leaving her house, and I was crying in my mom's Chevy Tahoe, and... <laughs> Dude, this is this is this funny. is what you should be talking about on stage. By I've been the way. trying to think of how to All do this. this. I was crying in my Chevy Tahoe, and the the worst person to pull up next to you was the girl I dated before her. Oh. And I looked over, full of tears, and just went. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> That's way funnier than than that. Do you, you do talk do you about talk that? About right? that? Uh, I've I've thought about it and I yeah, oh, that's, that's I can't already how to a word complete it. Was that... joke just like how you did it? Yeah. I mean, you can get those laughs. You can even Face. add in the whole hockey thing and the fucking. You take his zamboni thing and his. You know, I broke up with her. You know, left a fucking note. You know what I mean? Just take it and bake yeah. it and work yeah. it out. And yeah. See what you could do with that because that's funny as fuck. Yeah, it's just one of those ones that I've been sitting on. Forever. Oh my god! You so could the... say like it was. Yeah. yeah, it was kind of weird. She was there, but she is her roommate. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I guess not. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> you're you're in post production, right? Yeah. Just edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. There's gonna be a lot of editing tonight. <laughs> yeah. Can you? Is there any way that you know how to cut out the first ten minutes of a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can cut it. I can crop it to about here. <laughs> Shave it down, maybe. I love that. Keep it at UCB. <laughs> That's so fun. Channing up. Pocata. It's not a bad idea, man. <laughs> <laughs> Still nothing. I think it's funny. He's always positive, man. Uh, hey. Channing, what else? Funny's funny or whatever. Stop trying. <laughs> promise you, stop trying. I am trying. I am trying. You're so close to getting We should just pick him off. off. Would that be bad? Would you be offended if we did that, Pat? It's up to you. I love giving There's you... There's a sword man. right there. I think there might be a Yoda thing happening. Maybe he could... <laughs> 
I don't. Sorry. <laughs> I'm looking for the positive. I'm a yoga for, thing? Yoda. You're like a little. He's got a Yoda <laughs> thing. Can you do some DDP yoga in the original <laughs> room for like 45 minutes and then? What? We have a black belt in jujitsu, David Deary here, that can remove him from the stage. Oh, shit. Also, our friend See, from listen. Stockton, California, uh, the great Nate Diaz is here, ladies oh. and gentlemen. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Killer Nate Diaz. Not really. I'm just lying to myself to, uh, <laughs> to pretend like I'm enjoying tonight's episode. Um, <laughs> just kidding. I'm having a blast. I'm just trying to get... I'm just, I'm just trying to... I'm, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to I'm just trying got a lot of good stuff out of you. I think you can take all that hockey shit and really have fun with it. Cool, man. What else? I mean, what's your favorite thing that you've done in post-production? You edited anything cool? Um, well, I work for a corporation and then I freelance on the side. Uh, I'm like a video tech for a, a big major post house deluxe um, and my job there is to literally just watch movies and make sure that it's uh, ready to go hmm. um, but editing wise uh, just simple YouTube bullshit wow yeah all right nothing too exciting there yeah no uh, we know it's not too exciting uh, we just figured that out big time all right Channing well uh, come back and hang out with us again cool, man. Sometime. thank you guys there he goes uh, Channing job, Avocado, ladies and gentlemen He's on Twitter at Other Channing, C H A N I N G. Channing Apocata. It's like a cool, like, luchador wrestler name. <laughs> Channing Apocata. How about Tamar Katan? Another new name. Tamar Katan. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Tamar Katan missing his spot. Wow. Of all the people to not show up, why I, did it I have got to his be back. I can do some time, or I got I it. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Diego Atanasio. <laughs> Here he comes. Uh, I'm from Detroit. I hitchhiked the whole way here, and boy, is my mouth tired. <laughs> Thanks for getting that joke. One time, five minutes after that, someone in the corner was like, blowjobs. <laughs> That's prostitution. That's, uh, everyone knows the prostitution. That's like the oldest profession ever, but I call bullshit because if that's true, then how did the first guy pay for it if he didn't have a job? <laughs> was he just like, thanks for the blowjob. Here's a sheep. And she's like, man, I can't break a sheep. I've only got two cats. Everyone knows two cats plus a blowjob do not a sheep make. I may be a whore, but I am no thief. I read that in the back of a Snapple cap. <laughs> it's actually a joke. I drove my car here tonight. Anybody ever drive their car here tonight? Nice. Two people. I use my GPS to get here. You ever use your GPS to get somewhere? You've already been... Uh, Fuck yeah, Diego Atanasio. So fun. How long you been here from Detroit? Uh, two weeks. Or two weeks? Yeah. That is so fucking cool. How long did you do stand-up in Detroit? Uh, about two and a half years. That's fun. How you surviving out here? Where you living? What's going on? Uh, I'm just staying with a buddy out in Playa Vista. I'm just, just visiting. So. How just, many guys did you have to blow? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> three more than how many you think. <laughs> Did the white ones pay more? Uh, no. No, they do not. That makes no sense on any level. Mm. You want to go sit with the band, it's Brian? A, it's a thinker. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thinker. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a stinker. I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, see? Now you know how bad it was. <laughs> <laughs> Diego, uh, fuck yeah. What, so you're just visiting, and then you're going to go back to Detroit. Yeah. What do you do for work out there? You have a family? Uh, yeah. Parents. Parents. <laughs> <laughs> Got two parents. Yeah. That's funny. You have a very funny quick delivery system. Um, what do you do for work? How do you make a living? Uh, I just, uh, I, I don't do anything. I just do stand up out there. Really? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's super cheap to live out there. So. Two and a half years, and you're <laughs> making a Detroit living doing stand up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. super cheap to live. Make 75 bucks a year. No big deal. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, can buy, you can buy like a house though for like less than a thousand dollars in Detroit, can't you? Or is that just an urban myth? No, I mean not exactly, but yeah, more or less. They like pay you to live in like really shitty areas. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. great. So. How many? Comedies are freaking Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. It's a freaking, uh-uh. It's a Pat, if you could just push your friend off the stage at any point, it would be so appreciated. It's a freaking grind. He's harmless. Oh, man. God, the worst. Yeah, he's I not could, harmless. I, he's ruining this whole entire I, I, show. I, I could totally tell he has rich parents, too. It's yeah. the worst kind. <laughs> it, he has to have rich parents, or else he'd at least be one, like a little bit funny. I, I have such an open I, mind. I value his opinion. So. <laughs> his feedback. Super rich parents. <laughs> uh, I, I find that funny, too. <laughs> D- Diego, do you have a girlfriend or anything like that? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Girlfriend. Uh, how long have you guys been dating? <laughs> Uh, almost a year now, but it was like a year, and then we broke up for like six months, and now we're back together. Fuck yeah. <laughs> when she broke up with you, were you crying in your mom's <laughs> Chevy Tahoe? Yeah. <laughs> it's a trailblazer, but sure. Hmm. Oh, Diego, do you have any special skills or talents? Uh, I speak sign language and Spanish. You speak sign language? Well, no one speaks sign oh, language. That's very impressive. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bunch of, bu- bunch of knuckle sounds. <laughs> <laughs> speak sign language and Spanish. Can yeah. you, but can you speak sign language in Spanish? Uh, no. <laughs> Is it the same? Do they have different no, sign No, they have uh, American Sign Language, what we use in North America. Uh, they have that in Canada, here in Mexico, and every other country has their own sign language. Even in uh, uh, the UK, uh-huh. even in England, they have a completely different sign language. So it's like wow. regional based. Be the same. You think so that would be the one universal language, like emojis or something. Right, right, right. right. But, but then, like, how do you teach it Mexico. to What's You can still speak in Mexico, right? Yeah, the American Sign Language is in Mexico, too. Hmm. That's so. cool. Did you have to learn sign language because of someone in your family, or did you have a uh, deaf girlfriend? <laughs> no, I uh, I just needed two credits to fill out my semester. <laughs> <laughs> so. Fuck yeah, a real yeah, American man. hero. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Has that ever come in handy? You ever meet a deaf girl or anything like that? Uh, no, most deaf girls are gay. Is that true? Is that true? It's crazy true. Yeah. Whoa. Strong fingers? Is that why? Or? <laughs> Very good, Brian. Very good. That was, that was so good that I'm sure Pat's friend thought it was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> wrong, dude. I thought Is it, it was... because it's just hard I, for a guy wrong, to dude, date I, a deaf girl? Is that I why? Thought, I thought because it was I've funny. I've always had this whole thing with, like, I would love to date a deaf girl. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm not sure. I don't know. When I was taking classes, I just met, like, a bunch of people who were, like, interpreting. And, like, then I, that's when I met deaf people. And it's just, like, it's just a huge uh, lesbian and gay community in the deaf culture wow. for some reason. I don't Jesus know. Jesus Christ. Should Imagine with them scissoring must sound like you know what I mean just out of control there is like deaf porn like I think that you can watch deaf porn I think is that's that different. true I've never seen it but I just remember deaf oh, people telling dude. me about it we gotta that's watch hilarious right I want I want to set <laughs> I want deaf porn to be deaf my uh, porn, to be my alarm scary. clock in the morning <laughs> I just want to I want to wake sounds, up with like. a big fucking smile on my face deaf porn oh, oh please yeah. something pop yes, up yes here we go <laughs> not images <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? De- it turns out deaf porn's just like hearing porn with the images. Let's see a fucking video, Brian. Right, Let's here we fucking go. mic this shit up. Is that check out slutload.com? Deaf man. girl. <laughs> deaf girl still wants to be a porn star. So this is like a continuation. Sticky subtitle. <laughs> She's not a she's not a lesbian. Oh, my god. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> All right. Very wow. good. Wow. Oh, oh. Deaf <laughs> porn. <laughs> uh, there you have it. Yep. There's a translation. Deaf people have trouble like gauging how loud they're being, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely true. Man, I can't believe there's so many. Is it the same for guys too? Are the guys gay too? If they're deaf? Yeah. Totally really? Gay guys. What the fuck is that? I don't know. It's so interesting. Yeah, and deaf people will tell you if you're fat. 
Yeah. What? Yeah, what? The deaf culture is very blunt. So, like, if you've gotten fat, they'll be like, what's up? You got fat. Wow. Are deaf people more racist than non-deaf people? Yeah, crazy wow. racist. What the hell is going on? Is that true? <laughs> 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 Yeah, you'd think they'd be more sensitive. They're not at all. They're really they're racist. They're a bunch of assholes. Classes. Well, I guess if you can't, you know, hear anything, you're probably going to be more of a dick. So what are you going back to Detroit for? What's the big thing? Do you love it out there? No, I just don't have any money. But if you got a job, right. that would be different. You're right. You're right. I do. Thoughts I about that at all? Nothing? Uh, I just don't, I don't know what if I would If you were going to stay in L.A. and get a job, what do you think you would do? Uh, I could take pictures. I, I know how to take photos. Oh, no. With your iPhone? We, are, we already have enough of those. Uh, uh, <laughs> we have photographers on photographers, my yeah. friend. Um, that's interesting, though. You got into photography as well. Yeah. Photography, I sign language. This is like some kind of like Tinder profile or something <laughs> like that. Long walks. Um... All right, Diego. Anything else for Diego, guys? What do you think? Uh, do, would you ever incorporate that whole deaf thing into comedy? I, I don't know. That's yeah. why <laughs> they don't have. I'm truly. Really, I don't know. No, that's not. But a bad they idea. talk about it. That's pretty it. interesting. Do you talk? And about then it sign a little. No, I don't have any. Yeah, that's definitely a gold sign mine there. T- <laughs> <laughs> you could be the first signing comedian. Uh, that's not true. There's definitely a oh, yeah. Have you ever, have you ever, Death Black. Really? They actually My bad. Jeff Dunham. They actually I've, I've done comedy before where they have a sign language person on the side of the stage yeah. because there's somebody deaf in the audience. So they hire somebody to just to go on stage and do the whole act for them. And it's the most weird thing to be on stage while that's happening. It yeah. kind of throws you off. But it's really funny when you're a dirty comic watching like all the things they're doing with their hands <laughs> and their butt. Oh, and, gotcha. and then you got a deaf person laughing 30 seconds. Seconds too late. Yeah, because <laughs> there's like a delay. On oh, the that's gotta be so weird. Too. Fuck yeah, Joel. Yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah, with my mic is off. Def- <laughs> yeah, yeah, can I? Hey, oh. can I get my mic? Yeah, you could. Can you turn Pat's yeah, back, back on? I think he's gonna keep it away from his buddy I because know he so. knows that it'll definitely get <laughs> shut off if he keeps letting him talk. Uh, so, Diego, anything else? What do you do? Any, you, what's the most fun thing you've done since being here in LA? Uh, I went surfing. That was pretty fun. Do you know how to do that? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I've probably gone like uh, 10 times. Was so. this a college credit? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I took long distance running for that one. So. Gotcha. <laughs> how was surfing? Was that fun? Was it better than the waves of Lake Michigan? Yeah, way better. Fucking, there's, <laughs> you can paddleboard in Michigan, but yeah, surfing out here is... Your name is Diego Atanasio, but you seem extremely yeah. white. What is your ethnicity? Uh, I'm Peruvian. So I was born in Peru, but I am yeah. mostly Italian. So, <laughs> uh, how long did you spend in Peru? Uh, about three years, and then we moved to Florida and then Michigan. Trace on you. Very interesting. So. All right. Well, there you go. You met him here, Diego Atanasio, ladies and gentlemen. Good job, buddy. Thank He's you. on Twitter at Diego Comedy. Is that a fucking bell? I have like, I'm having Vietnam flashbacks to the sound of a bell right now. Thought I heard a jingle for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Live audience, how you guys doing out there, huh? I think uh, this is about what Josh probably episode one sixty what? If it's released, somewhere something, you know, one sixty something, and uh, you guys are at a special show because I've never been halfway at a meltdown the entire episode before. I've been there so far from the beginning and uh, just riding the wave. <laughs> could completely snap at any given moment. I mean, it's probably going to happen because you're fucking touching me, Brian. <laughs> Ever. Nope. That's never worked either. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Thank God for David Arquette, Steve Simone, and Joel Jimenez, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Pulled another name out of the bucket. It looks like yet another new name, which I always love. Put your hands together for Max White. Hi, I grew up in the 1980s, and uh, it's weird. Back then, my dad was a drinker, right? Like, drinker's fun. Like, you'd invite a drinker to a party, okay? In 2016, though, my dad's an alcoholic. Like, ugh, you know, it's weird. So it's a different name, but uh, little things are different. Like, I hate that because my dad's a good guy. It's just he drinks a lot, right? Like, my dad never beat me. Like, if he hit me with anything, it was just broken promises. <laughs> I don't know. I can kind of tell how drunk my dad was based on what he promised me the night before. Good thing to know when you're 10, right? Example, hey, Max, that tree fort we've been talking about building, 
we're building it tomorrow. I'm like, Dad, you're going to be late for work. <laughs> Dad. Where he's like, Max, that go-kart on TV looks like a blast. We're going to buy it tomorrow. I'm like, Dad, you should not drive. One time he got crazy, though, and he's like, Max, you're 16. Pick out any car you want. I'll buy it for you. An hour later, he had a stomach pumped. All right. But on the flip side, do you have any idea how nice paramedics are to you on uh, Christmas morning? It's, it's amazing. That's it, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah. Fuck yeah, the quiet kitty. Exactly a minute. Max White. Uh, is that your real name? Or yeah, do you it just is. go by Max White that's because you name. are the whitest Max fucking white, white guy of I know, all time. right? <laughs> Albino is shit, and that's my real name for sure. Holy shit. I like yeah. your style, Max. Thanks. You appreciate look like a member of the Stanford swim team. Has anybody ever told you that before? That's like the third person this week. That's weird. I appreciate that. Thanks. Um, yeah, the yeah. other two you were raping behind a dumpster. So. Yeah. Uh, Sucks. It took my skill. I'm bummed now. I have nothing to offer the public anymore. Max, where are you from? I'm from Michigan originally, but I live in New York now. From where? Uh, Michigan originally. Oh, wow. Yeah. There you go. A lot of Michiganders. Yeah, there. for sure. And now you live in? New York. Yep. Oh, that's fun. How long yeah. have you been on stand-up? A uh, year. Yep. Very cool. What yeah. do you do for work in New York? I uh, work in skateboarding. So yeah. You work in skateboarding? Yeah, actually I own a store. So oh. I did actually, but not anymore. So like as of this week. Wait a second. Are you just Tony Hawk in disguise? No. <laughs> if I go into any ghetto neighborhood, I'm definitely Tony Hawk though. Kids, kids will yell at me to do a kickflip and then they'll call me Tony Hawk and then take my wallet. So you... <laughs> hey, what's going on? What <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> so fucking, what is that? Bird food? I, what is happening? I think that guy's ecstasy just fell out. What's it, going on? It here? reminds me of oh, oh, wait. Um, birds, the restaurant. Did nerds like, just fall out of your pill bottle? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Whoa. I was hoping he was actually going to die at any given moment. I was hoping they were real. Uh, <laughs> that would be funny and weird. Oh, it would be. Oh That's god. why everybody laughed, you fucking idiot. Um. <laughs> Max, Ouch, let's keep man. it on you, Max. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, man, so you are a good skateboarder, huh? That's a N- thing. Not anymore. I've broken so many bones. Now I'm just old and shitty. Wow. Yeah, so now I can just yell at kids and tell them what to do and live vicariously through them. So it's nice. It's a good position to have, for sure. You, dude, you work at a skate park? No, no, I own the skateboard shop. Oh, wow. Joel Jimenez here, uh, amazing, amazing band leader. He actually works at a skate park. Did you know that? No, I didn't. What skate park? I don't want to talk about it, but I was laid off at the end of June. Oh, wow. You get, you get <laughs> but, uh, caught rollerblading, or what happened? Hover, hoverboarding, but uh, back to you. Okay. <laughs> but back to you. I love it. Our senior uh, percussion correspondent. <laughs> Tossing it back to us, Joel Jimenez. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep it moving. Back to you at the Kill Tony studio. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Max, I get the feeling that your parents look just like you. Not at all. Really? Not no. at all? There's a milkman somewhere that's 6'2", but my parents are like short and they have like tan skin. They're not albino and they have dark hair. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. wow. They're still in Michigan? Uh, no. My dad lives in China, actually, and my mom is in Florida. They got the fuck away from each other. Uh, yeah, they sure. did. Yeah. Uh, that's about as far away from one as you can get. I know. Yeah. It might have something to do with me in the middle, but I'm not too sure. Yeah. Had something to do with what? With me in the middle. I don't know if they wanted to get away from me, so I'm not sure. You were in the middle. Oh. Yeah, geography speaking. Sorry. Gotcha. Max White in the middle. Yeah. Um, so they left you, and what, uh, did you ever get to go see your dad in China? Yeah, I've been over there quite a few times, yeah. What's that like? Uh, it's different. Like, take anything you're used to in the United States and kind of turn it upside down. Fuck yeah. It's when you were uh, in China, did you ever get anyone upside. named uh, Max Yellow? Sorry, what was that? A kid that got hugged too much yeah. as a kid's talking. What? No, it was uh, oh. it was, what? It was Pat. <laughs> what? What'd you say, Pat? He was like, it turned it. Everything's upside down. Yeah, like in China, your friend would be funny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. The new lead singer of Joel Jimenez's band, Max White, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I'll take that as a compliment, oh, man. <laughs> This uh, honestly stinks because I'm trying to get you guys to think I'm funny, man. <laughs> Still nothing. No whammy. No whammy. Oh, you sort of, no. he does look like a whammy, too. That's funny. I'm trying. Uh, Max, tell us the most interesting <laughs> uh, thing that's ever happened to you when you've been hooking up with a woman. Craziest thing that's ever happened to you. Oh, I had a threesome in China and no one spoke English but me. That was awesome. Whoa. Yeah. So. 
how did that go down? What was the most was it with your part dad? Of that? Money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I borrowed money from dad and then just went to a place. Wow. No, just kidding. I didn't borrow money, but I definitely went to the place. Yeah. Was it cheap? Uh, yeah, it's like Olive Garden, full meal, could get wow. you whatever you Are want you there. Saying it's Red like, Band's yeah. hyped. Look at him. Nice. Right. When you say Olive Garden, does that mean they shoved a breadstick up your ass? Yeah, for no, sure. It's, it's from the, the creamy yeah. Alfredo sauce that's probably leaking from her gross vagina. Did you, <laughs> did you toss their never-ending salads? Uh, you pay for that. It's extra. It's a good Olive, good Olive Garden joke. Good Olive Three Garden Olive Garden jokes. So this is worth the trip to L.A. right now. So, so it's like a reasonable meal for, for cheap. Absolutely, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. 20 bucks. I think Brian 20, still 30, thinks you got food 30. in this Look, threesome. Yeah. yeah $20 at Olive Garden, that's all you're spending? Come on, you're better than that. Did you wear protection or did you... Yeah, they, they did, definitely did they put it on that. with the mouth like they usually do? They get bummed because they're not... I'm not, I'm not sure I'm like average size. I don't have a big dick. It's just totally normal. But from what they're used to, they're very bummed when you're like, come on, let's go. Or because their parents don't even know who they're... I'm not really sure. I didn't ask. <laughs> I don't... I was there for the tourism. I don't really care about their feelings. That's <laughs> fun. Where do you perform? Uh, <laughs> That's so funny. So you get up a lot in New York? You going hard at it? I do, yeah. That's Try fun. to like four times a night at least, for sure. Viagra. Max White, guys. What do you think about Max? What's your take on Max? Awesome. Love that. I mean, I-, I thought it was great that you tried to make yourself personal. And there was jokes in there, too. I just noticed that like when you came out of the gate, it appeared to me that you expected the first joke to land a little bit harder. And I felt that that threw off your timing for the rest of your set. So don't care. <laughs> okay. That's Thank all I would you. Say. Appreciate you did that. great. No, sure. Thanks. It was dark. I mean, you're talking about some dark shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, Dad. <laughs> Why, Dad? <laughs> 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 oh, maybe I was thinking about my past. Sorry. <laughs> Max White. David Arquette just called me dark. Sorry, keep going. This is amazing. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> so proud right now. Max White, you are by far my favorite comedian that has a name like a clan leader. <laughs> <laughs> Max White. That is something else. So fun, dude. Nice to meet Great you. Job. Thank you so much for having me. There he goes. Max White. At, on Twitter, at this is Max Please. White. He's the real Max White. Max White. This is Max White on Twitter. Hey, can can uh, Jay do his closer? Uh, if if his closer is walking to Sunset Boulevard, then absolutely, <laughs> definitely, and and by gar- I guarantee it'll be the only time tonight that the crowd will respond in a positive way <laughs> to him. Nope. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I'll take nope. Any, hello. I'll take any stage time I can get. Um. Uh, Matt, what are you doing? Uh, oh my god! The other last joke, man. <laughs> really? Are closer. you gonna leave after it? Yeah. Really? Okay. It's a clo- okay, Dude, go ahead. they call it a closer. How long for- is it? How long is it? It's a quick. It's How long is it? Almost, Take a fucking guess. It's almost like freaking um. <laughs> it's almost like freaking like Hedberg or something. Um. Uh. God, you're uh, the worst. <laughs> Um, this, this feels like Kaufman and Waller on oh Letterman. It's a one. It's, it's a. Real. It's a one-liner, um, or almost. Um, uh, the other day, my friend, or sorry, um, it's stand. It's called stand up after all. Um, uh, the other. The other day, my friend was mysteriously seeing demons, <laughs> and, um, and or and then I and I say, hey man, better days are just around the corner. <laughs> Uh, there you oh, no. go. Yes. You did it. There he goes with a big closer, everybody. Uh, there he goes. They're called Saturday and Sunday. There he goes. There he goes. That way. Go that way. Go the way you came. Just go that way. No, not. Oh, Jesus. No. Truly the worst. I think it rubbed off. Uh, I like that his shirt said smile. There he goes, everybody. Bob Scott Goldthwait, everyone. There he goes. (laughs) I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Alex Arana, everyone. Alex Arana? There was a part where I got really scared because I thought it might be him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, here I am. That would have been awesome. I'm <laughs> actually Alex Arona. Never got a chance to tell you. <laughs> anyway, I just want you to think I'm funny. <laughs> oh, wow. We know this young lady. She just turned 21. She's been coming on this show since we started three years ago. And it's been a crazy storyline because she was going to Harvard the entire time. She would come here once every six months or so and just kill 
It's been a year or so. She just graduated from Harvard, her first time back since then. Put your hands together for the great Sierra Catal, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing. Hello. Um, I uh, actually made a cool purchase with my roommates the other day, um, and we went on Craigslist because we like a little danger. <laughs> And it was actually pretty cool. It was a, a couch. Um, and turns out if you play your cards right on Craigslist, like you can get the seller to also deliver it for you. So not only did we get this couch, we also got a stranger to know where we live. And <laughs> no, we're too weak to carry a couch, let alone defend ourselves. <laughs> so that's fun. I'm going to be skinned. Um, <laughs> but no... It'll be fine, because I, I am fast, uh, faster than my roommates. <laughs> and Janice has a bad knee. Um, that's fun. I, you know, I want to do stand-up for a living. That's what I come out here to do. Um, but sometimes I worry that I'm going to, like, disappoint my dad. You guys feel like this? Like, you might disappoint your father? Because, like, I, you know, I just want to do stand-up comedy. And uh, he always wanted a son. So it's really... <laughs> Hard to reconcile the two, you know? <laughs> Tough, but... Fuck yeah. Great. Sierra Catow, ladies and gentlemen. Our amazingly fun storyline continues. You just graduated Hello. from Harvard, correct? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes. That is so cool. Sierra oh, Catow. Yes. Our, <laughs> our did campus it. band. And uh, uh-huh. that is so fucking fun. And you've been doing stand-up the whole time. You worked with National Lampoons through it all or something like oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Some kind of cool the, program. The, uh, and Harvard you were doing Lampoon. stand-up there. And then you'd come mm-hmm. do stand-up here. How's everything going for you? Good. How's yeah. graduated life? It's good so far. I've been out here since like Tuesday. Um, wow. But I was traveling a little bit before. So now I'm here for good. Super excited. That is so cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting <laughs> thing. You know, you, you could always cool. just, you got to just trim the front of that, just get straight into sure, like, yeah. you know, I bought a couch the other day off Craigslist mm-hmm. and I thought it was cool that the seller was going to deliver it themselves until I realized now that I got a couch and, you know, then you're already in. You don't need the extra like 15 right, yeah. seconds. That's Is that true? a true story? Uh, yeah. You could also say it comes with other things, you know, like when you find things in the couch, like a camera. Or oh, something yeah. like that, you know, or something like it that. It is and creepy. I actually had uh, something like that sort of happen to me recently because mm-hmm. I just signed up for this, like, Uber maid service. So, like, every two weeks I just hit a button and for 40 bucks someone from this service comes and cleans my apartment for a few hours. Wow. That's awesome. And uh, <laughs> something like that, right? And, um, and the second person the first person that did it was amazing they just came in place was sparkling everywhere just smelled great after a few hours they were gone it was perfect the second person came in and they were creepy as fuck and they (laughs) literally did nothing i had to go and like do something i remember and then i came back and they did nothing and it wasn't like the place was a crazy mess but you could just tell that they did absolutely nothing like i mean <laughs> truly nothing for like a maid service yes, that's for... something i don't really want an uber driver to do i would probably get like, like it's a real not company an, it's though it's not an uber driver i know you, i know but like not an app I not like you yeah, but... not not an app like <laughs> anyone can get download the app and like clean somebody's house you know yeah well yeah and then i realized that because by the time that i left a bad review for the guy i uh i realized wow he knows where i live and he's probably right, yeah. he's a guy that goes to clean houses and doesn't even do yeah, that he just... so he probably has nothing <laughs> and uh if he didn't clean anything then he must have been doing something he's uh, probably rubbing your underwear on his dick wow you thought of the first thing that a second grader would have guessed brian very good <laughs> Really? I mean, boy, some of Sierra's Harvard knowledge really rubbing off on you over there. <laughs> Probably put underwear on the pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> you might have. <sighs> Sierra Katow. How's, yes. uh, I mean, well, yeah, do, anything crazy happen in all those years, of, final years of college? Oh, uh, man. Uh, too much, too much chilling. Too much I just, chilling. I knew I was going to want to do comedy, so I kind of just chilled. In school. Oh, what does that nice. mean? All good. A minuses? Um, <laughs> <laughs> got him. Uh, yeah, no, I, I guess, uh, you know, like, Harvard does have very good grade inflation, which is why, like, we're, we're pretty okay just, like, chilling. It doesn't mean we're all getting A minuses, but the average grade there is an A minus, which is really awful. Really? Yeah. It's wow. really disheartening. 
Um, but yeah, apparently because to just, you know, you can kind of get by. Also, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of kids there who are actually really smart and they're the ones getting the, good, the high grades and raising the, the average, you know, but then they let me in and then they bring it down, so it's great. <laughs> wow, I can't even figure out what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Any crazy stories? Any boys try to get you in a Chang Bang or anything like that? <laughs> 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 oh, um, no, not that, I, not that I recall. There's like, uh, you know, there's like those final clubs. I don't know if you guys watch The Social Network. That's like a big thing there. They're all fighting them now because they're trying to make them co-ed, but they're they're not a great place. I to feel be. like you'd uh-huh. get hit on by a lot of pedophiles. Does that mm. happen a lot? A lot of ice cream truck drivers and that's things like I, that. That's what I worry about because I feel like guys who are into me, I'm like, oh, this is so cool, and then I realize like I look pretty young, so right. probably they're just a pedophile. So you kind of have yeah. to like go for guys that aren't into you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah. Do you that's do that funny. on stage? Yeah. Is that no, a joke? I, I don't. Well, that's amazing right, now. Right. That's incredible. It. Sweet. It's just go for guys that aren't that into you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Is that true? Like, do you find that sort of being true? Well, I think it's like, it's also being an Asian woman. You kind of worry that if guys are just hitting on you, like, out of the blue, you're like, eh, you're probably, let's, let's look through your dating history on Facebook. And it's like, Asian woman, Asian woman. And you're like, all right. Let's check your and then like at their house they have like a gong and like <laughs> fucking like Chinese characters on their wall. So like, okay. fucking funny, it's unbelievable. Let's stay away. Yeah. It's so funny to me that a 21 year old girl can come up here and just school everybody that was up before her. Uh, no, no. Um, no. Sierra, Horse of Truth. What was the part of that that I wanted to ask you about? Oh, so if you see like that a guy's dated a bunch of Asian girls, mm-hmm. is that a good? That's a bad thing, or it's probably a bad thing. Do you ever think like if they're, if it's all just like white girls, are you like, well, maybe they just want me to be their one experimental oh. Asian? Mm, interesting. Are you ever worried about that? Yeah, I think there's there's you know it's a lose lose, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think. <laughs> Because the thing is, yeah, we're pretty. I, I would say most of my friends who are like Asian girls. We're kind of worried about that mainly. Is the is the guy who goes after Asian girls a lot? So we try to stay away from that. But I don't think we ever really have talked about when we sit down and discuss. We haven't, yeah, considered the new thing. Like you don't want to just be like, ooh, like a little like take Chinese takeout, and then like <laughs> never, never again. I, I don't know. That's an interesting thing. Um, my, I think, yeah, my sister dated a guy who, like, hadn't met an Asian girl till college. So that was like, oh, well, I was like, maybe you, may, maybe you reconsider. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's tough. It's a lose-lose, as I said. What's your favorite? <laughs> loser, <thug>? loser. <laughs> <laughs> Laos, <laughs> Laos. Oh, Laos, Laos, Laos situation. Jimenez. <laughs> Uh, so, Sierra, like, what kind of guys are you into? Because I've noticed that most Asian women are just into Asians. Have you, have, you tr- have you tried around? Like, have you, like, shopped? Have you, like, tried other flavors? Um, hmm. <laughs> I guess I, I've dated a Korean American, and a, um, and now I'm currently dating a white guy. So Whoa. Wait, what color was the American? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I was saying, I was saying Korean American. <laughs> <laughs> no, I dated yeah, a just, Korean, an American, and an a American, white guy. No. Uh, <laughs> red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I, a Korean American, Korean dash American. So uh, he was born here. I don't so know, the I Korean was like super specific. Korean. No, no, no. I, <laughs> I was dating. I said a Korean. I corrected Korean American. Oh, that's one. That person. was one guy. Yeah. I, oh. dated you guys. <laughs> I dated a Korean <laughs> American <laughs> and a yeah. guy named uh, Taiping. Right. <laughs> All the yes. same guy. Huh. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Who'd you like more, the Asian or the uh, white guy? <laughs> well, I guess you're still, <laughs> you're still with so the I'm white guy. I'm gonna go guy. with the white guy. Yeah. Fuck yeah. But, you know, That's yeah. your low main squeeze right now. Right? Why'd you break up with? <laughs> why'd you break up with the Korean? He was, was he too like? Um, oh, this is my high school boyfriend, so we had to part ways. Right. Very yeah. Weak, was, um, yeah. He's yeah. got that fucking angry box head. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whoa, too soon for the Korean <laughs> jokes, everybody? I can't... Okie dokie. Um, but they, they have, like, the more square heads, correct? Oh, you're thinking of Perhaps shovel I, head. I don't know. Did I... <laughs> <laughs> well, the Koreans, their heads are more square. The Chinese have more round. <laughs> Japanese are the... That's the okay, show yeah, South Park. This is, right. like, the, the rubric you guys <laughs> use to do, so you don't offend. All right, no, that's good. 
<laughs> I, 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 that's fine. I don't know. I mean, perhaps. I'm like, I'm Chinese and Japanese, so I don't know what, where I sit in that. Welcome okay. to the new podcast, Boxhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Korean only podcast. Uh, Sierra, most fun thing that the white guy's ever uh, done for you or to you that the Asian guy never did. Please say anal. Please say anal. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Took you to Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, I went back sorry, to yeah, the... Yeah, we're yeah. Oh, okay, I yeah. went way back. So uh, what was the back. answer? I missed it. Um, I, I, yeah, I haven't thought about it yet. Uh, I don't know, probably like... We did, we've, um, we've gone to a concert together. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Oh, shit. Just dropping, putting that out there. Wow. <laughs> Fucking, uh, what concert? What are we um, talking about? It was uh, Edward Edward the Blowfish Sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on that. Okie dokie. It was a Asian joke. Um, Who was it? <laughs> uh, Inter Shikari. Whoa. He was into it. I was like, great. Did you like it? Yeah, I was, was he cool. like dancing? Was it all weird? So it's kind of like one of those things where they run around and so I was like hanging out on the outside like like thumbs up. He was oh, with like me a mosh and then pit. he would go and be like, I'll be right back. And then he'd run around in the middle like that. <laughs> Like, all right. So it's kind of like the mom being like, okay, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Be over here. It was pretty weird. But no, it was great. I mean, I, I, I like watching people perform, and they were a great performing band. So That is so fucking good. cool. Uh-huh. Maybe you're the pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I would l- l- love to invite you to uh, the first Friday at the Ice House and uh, do the Death Squad show. There you oh, go. Yay, thanks. Be- there you go. My favorite joke, from the rice house to the ice house. uh, It works every time. I've used it seven times in 160-some episodes. Always, always works. Um, Sierra, anything else fun that you want to update us with? Any questions for the great David Arquette? Oh, man. Questions for Steve Simone, one of the nicest human beings on the planet. And funniest, of course. Um, Yeah, I don't know. What What do you guys... What are, oh, what are you guys? <laughs> wow. Really? Harvard what caliber. You guys, uh, uh, <laughs> you guys like Asian girls? <laughs> um, Steve Smart, yeah. Any advice for a uh, starting comic? Yeah, just be nice and have fun. Okay. <laughs> that's that's right. I, I think that's good advice. Just be nice and have fun. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And don't stop. No matter how hard it gets, just never give up. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. That's advice to everybody out there. Never give up. That's true. Don't quit. David Arquette? <laughs> <laughs> Just laugh. Dude. Oh, shit. That's, it. That's the gist. Enjoy it. Sierra Catal, ladies right. and gentlemen. She's yeah. back in Los Angeles with a Harvard motherfucking degree. She is unstoppable. She's on Twitter at Sierra Catal. That's Sierra K A T O W. Man, that is incredible. Three years she's been coming here. So 21, 29. Wow, that's fucking crazy. That's, that's like one of our coolest ongoing storylines, right? Yeah. Because when she was on three years ago, we must have said, how much longer till you graduate? And she probably said three years. And, and I wow. said, how much till you turn 21 so I can get you wasted, remember? Something like that. <laughs> Ooh, another new name. This looks interesting. I like the style of cursive. Uh, put your hands yeah. together for Bella Rose. Here she comes. This way, this way. Hey, so I get to go after the really smart woman. I'm wearing glasses, so I appear more intelligent. But, yeah, when I was young, I used to do really smart guys because I would hope it, like, would rub off on me. But I probably would have had better luck going to college. (laughs) Just maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm a procreator. How many of you have gotten your genes in the next generation? (laughs) Okay, that's okay, because some of you just don't need to. It's okay. (laughs) I have. I've gotten my genes in the next generation. And my children, I picked a very rich guy, so I gave them that gift. Thank you, yes. I always wanted a trust fund, so I was like, well. But then you kind of get, like, entitled little bitches, which there's the flip side. Um, Not that I don't love my children. (laughs) Shit, one minute's going really fast. Ah! 
Anyway, so, um, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, like, I really need a job. Maybe I could redefine words. Because, like, cunt, cunt should not be a word to describe a badge, right? It's like a badge is a beautiful, lovely thing. Can't understand normal thinking. That makes perfect sense, right? That's your time. Bella okay. Rose, everybody. She was. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Bella Rose, I like your style. Thank you, thank you. Uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Like, on and off for years. Like, I haven't done it for a while, but I moved Right, you with used my to ex. go by another stage name, right? Weird Al Yankovic? No? <laughs> oh. Put that name. It was just, it was Sorry, Crisis Bella. Christina. <laughs> Sorry. Damn. I was at the I'm hair. in full roast mode. I have the roast battle coming up at the end of this week, uh, live from Montreal on Comedy Central. So. Is, is, is Bella Rose your real name, or is that your porno it's, name? It's my last name, actually. Oh. Right. Is, my, is my that your deaf name porno Christina. name? Crisis Christina. <laughs> 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 Bella, did you just come straight in from Bonnaroo to perform here tonight? Bonnaroo? You seem like such a free spirit, like a music festival type. She's oh, yeah. Well, I wanted to be a musician. I wanted to be a singer, but so I'm So did Pat Reagan at one point. So, uh, there's the problem. Oh, oh shit. I'm like so tone deaf, <clears throat> unfortunately. Bella, what do you do for work? I don't really work. I feel like you have a garden. Am I correct? I mean, I should have a garden. I mean, I, I do work. I have a nonprofit. I just don't make money. That's the problem. <laughs> I, I, I do a lot of things to work. Like, I'm a Facebook activist. Oh, no. I do, like, a lot oh, of life. Jesus and, Christ. Yeah, is your love life really sad? <laughs> it is. There he okay. is. Oh, my Welcome God. Back. I'm surprised you brought that up. It is so fucking tragic. Tell but us you know about what it. they say? Comedy is tragedy over time. So... No, well, basically, actually, you have that equation wrong. Uh, <laughs> I do? It's not oh, yeah. like comedy's divided by square time or whatever you just said. Uh, yeah, what did I just um, say? Anyway, okay, Bella, anyway. tell us about it. Why okay, so the other day I was out buying, um, I found some vegan condoms, which I was really excited about because I'm <laughs> vegan. What does and that mean? You just put them on bananas how did the or something? Well, yeah, how did the 21 year old boy you were trying to fuck react to maybe that? Maybe I have a sex life, right? But actually, I'm just obsessive compulsive and I just put them on my toys. So I don't have to wash them, what? right? Oh my god! <laughs> well, that's why they. So when clean. twenty-one-year-old boys go over to your apartment and see your doll collection, how do they react? <laughs> well, actually, I have a twenty-year-old daughter, so I, and I live with my ex, so I'm not allowed to have any right. men over. I, it's very sad. The but, only reason I do stand-up comedy is simply to get the fuck out of the house. You know you can just leave the house at any point. I mean, you don't have to try to do this comedy. Well, thing. you know, but the problem is, see, like, the baby daddy, he doesn't really want to fuck me, but he doesn't really want anyone comments. else to fuck me. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Because you have daddy. vegan condoms. That's why he doesn't want to fuck you, because he knows that's only for gay sex. <laughs> Oh, God. Gay sex are people who want to save the world. Why are you calling him a baby daddy when the baby is 20 years old? Well, I have three. Oh, there's three. I have three. I'm a procreator. You just look at me and I get pregnant almost. Uh No, no, I don't think that's how it works at all. Uh, (laughs) Definitely not. Right, you would think I would have figured it out after three times. You would have think I might have figured out how it works. Yeah, vegan condoms. Right? (laughs) Brian, you just keep repeating vegan condoms over and over again. And they're sustainable. Okay. They're biosustainable, and part of the proceeds go to charity. Okay. So I they're just oh, really roll up. Is charity the name of your third kid? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? It's, it's faith, actually. Charity. Faith. Do you make your own jewelry? Yes, actually, you I do. do. <laughs> yeah. do you, you and you know? sell it. It stands sometimes, right? This one is made out of right? paper. This is recycled and paper. And I could, I could buy it on Etsy.com. Am I correct? <laughs> no. Do you have any energy crystals Almost. in your pocket? <laughs> Do you live in Calabasas? I do have one in my vagina. Do you live in Calabasas? Where do you live? Santa Monica. No, I do live in Calabasas. (laughs) Oh, my God! Fuck, yeah! Joel! Joel! This is Joel Joel Jimenez's episode. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) 
Joe Jimena. Bella Rose. Is that your real name? Yeah, it's my last name. Really? It's real, my real last name, yes. So why Bella? Because of the webcams and the stage and stuff? I, know, I was just born with it, but I just decided to get rid of Christina, the first name, because like Christina, that's four words, right, and Bella it's Rose so is like two, four, six, eight, and then it's like so confusing for people. People are very simple-minded. They can't take in four names all at once. Like, just break that shit down to two. Holy shit. He's like, really? Uh, I can take in two names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Chong's girlfriend just showed up. What the... What? Uh, I thought maybe they could they go good together. I'm going to shut up now. Bella Rose, <laughs> uh, tell us something else about you. What else are you into? Any other fun hobbies? Oh, I do. Things? I'm a yogi. I'm going to India in a week to <laughs> study yoga. Really? Yeah. Huh. Like, I get up every day at 5 o'clock to drive to Culver City to do Ashtanga yeah. yoga. What kind of yoga is Your life that? is like a it's showtime like, show. Um, I know, right? <laughs> uh, it's, it's a very athletic form of yoga. It's a combination of dance and gymnastics. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like downward-facing cougar or something like that? <laughs> um, no. But, like, back in the old day, you want me to show you this joke I used to open with back in the way old day when well, I was really a young comedian? I, I have no idea what you're saying. Everybody's laughing. Oh, what was that? I said, wait would for you the, like me to demonstrate okay. a joke I used to do when I was very you're young? Demonstrate the joke? Well, yeah, I guess I use a yoga pose in it. Sure, yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> The music's Be on. careful, ladies oh, and gentlemen. She is a squirter. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I get so nervous, but don't worry. This pose helps to just relax me and ah, just breathing very deeply into my chakras. Is, is the chakra like the gaping hole that's probably underneath those jeans? Yeah. <laughs> how did uh? How did I go? Oh my how gosh! How did the bell I from earlier just fall out of her pussy? Myself. Okay. All right. you, Everybody at did once. Did you catch the end? Where what I was no, there? what was it? Oh, I make such an ass out of myself. Oh, oh no, 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 oh, no don't, do it. Do don't do it. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Now you I have to sit next it. to Pat for the rest of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I've already done it. I think if you incorporate the vegan condom and masturbating, that joke kills. Thank you. Thank I mean, you. How often, I'm sorry. <laughs> how often do you use? Uh, how, how often do you use like soap in the shower? <laughs> no, I use soap. I'm into soap. Every day. Yeah, I'm not rock? one of these vegans who doesn't like soap, and I use two. But you too. don't like washing your sex toys. You'd rather put no, a fucking I condom do. on them. I, but it's like, what if I'm like walking out with my glass dildo, and then my daughter happens to get up to go pee, and she's like, you know, it's just awkward. No, what happens then? <laughs> yeah, right. It's just awkward. It, did she really see you with a glass dildo, or are you just saying? Well, that? no, I'm just yeah, I'm just thinking like, gosh, I don't want her to see me with a glass dildo. Well, did That's she see I, you with a glass dildo? Well, that's no, because I put the Was the glass on half them, empty so or half full? I don't full. have the need to go to the bathroom to wash them. Oh. <laughs> Except, you know, when she's gone, then I just throw them in the dishwasher, and then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really funny. <laughs> they just yeah, the hate truth it. is stranger than reality. Right. <laughs> you, you almost, again, that's another thing that uh, is a saying that you pretty much just trashed. Uh, <laughs> it's a Hallmark. Quote. Truth is strange. <laughs> it's a different thing. <laughs> All right, Bella Rose. You're an interesting well, spirit. Mm-hmm. Uh, coolest, coolest concert you've ever been to in your life? Uh, Pink Floyd, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. No, fish is what her uh, sex toys smell like. Uh, <laughs> too easy. If that is a, so she's not a, true. Actually, she's a hippie. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, you know why? Because I'm a vegan, and so I don't have any, like, dead carcasses in my body rotting, coming out of my pores, so... (laughs) (laughs) Judgment! No, well, you know... No, you just got couscous. I have to... (laughs) 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 They're like, oh my god, they're they're so judgmental, but you know what? Every fucking hamburger is like 30,000 gallons of water. That's like my child's future. Every hamburger's... 30,000 yeah, yeah, yeah. gallons it takes, it takes of water? 30,000 <laughs> gallons just to process one package of hamburger. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. crazy because my favorite thing to do is throw hamburgers in people's swimming pools. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I'm just wasting so much fucking water. I didn't even realize it. Well, you 
know, hey, who needs water? We have money. Fuck it. You know, who right. needs air? It's not and going water, anywhere. Right? It's some uh, water that's been in dinosaurs' pussies the whole time. You know, it's what? You can't kill water. It's not going anywhere. We're you don't not actually wasting have water. Have to answer forever. her if she says yeah. what. You would, wouldn't oh, have to yeah. repeat it if it didn't work the first time. Oh, I uh, forgot. We're not in a drill. Bella, let me ask you a question. How upset are you at this whole Bernie Sanders situation? <laughs> I am so upset. Because that's oh your God. guy, right? I mean, you like him so much, you almost started to sort of look like him a little bit. In the right? Face. Oh. Like, if, you, if, if we put a Bernie wig on you, you'd be Bernie pretty much. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Be- I think I probably would have been better than Bernie. Uh, they should have just... Because, right, the other side has yeah. all these stupid idiots. I'm perfectly qualified. <laughs> right? So are you going to vote for Hillary? Oh, God, I don't know. What are you going to do? Like, vote for... W- the Trump? So, oh, yes, no. you're going to vote Fuck for Hillary. No. Why wouldn't you vote for Trump? Why? Yeah. I mean, there's like a whole plethora of reasons. I'm just curious what your answer reasons. is. What's your first reason? What would be your top reason why you wouldn't vote for Trump? Well, he's a racist. He's a misogynistic what did he say? What's the most racist bigot? thing? He's like... Bella, stick with me over here. Okay. What's the most racist thing you've ever heard him say? Well, he's, he wants to build a he wall. He said, get, get that monkey off my porch one time. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's Hold on Mexicans a were rapists. That's pretty... Breaking bad. news here. Uh, we have our... Back to the Kill Tony news team. Uh, with a live report on the current election, we go to Pat Reagan, Kill Tony political correspondent. What was that, Pat? Uh, what did Donald Trump say? He said, get that monkey off my porch. <laughs> Is this, did you hear him say that? Well, I didn't even realize Trump had a porch that he would like say that on. Because it's mostly like huge hotels and shit. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, the, the old stare back improv jam. <laughs> his, beard, his beard's caught in his, his harmonica thing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bella, you say he's racist, but are you, are you saying that you like Mexicans? <laughs> <laughs> I love Mexicans. Really? Thank you. Yes. So, would, would you? Thank you. Would you let them live with uh, yourself and your uh, three daughters and your husband? Yeah, I have like an adopted Mexican mother, actually. You have, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. <laughs> Before you make a joke about she said farty poo or something, let's just stick with the thing. You just said that you have an adopted what? I I have an adopted Mexican mother. Adopted Mexican mother. So you adopted like from like a kennel? A Mexican... What what, what do you mean? Um, No, she's just part of our family now. She's nicer to me than my own mother. So I figure (laughs) I I just will call... I know, right? My mom's a psycho cunt. But yeah... Wow. Fuck yeah. Right? We lost everything there for a second. So how did you adopt <laughs> this Mexican lady? She just came to us one day, and I decided to keep her. <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. Here we are. Oh, my God. This is why I dig for gold, ladies and gentlemen. Every <laughs> once in a while, you find it. A lot of you are questioning, where the fuck is Tony going with this Mexican thing? Well, you can go... S- <laughs> All right. Uh, so... Is this true? You being serious? What, yeah, what do you yeah, mean she just true. came by? Like a, like a stray dog. Like one day she's just knocking on the door. I mean, I don't recall how it happened, but she doesn't speak English. And I just saw she had this beautiful light in her eyes. And we made this connection when she was cleaning my house. And I was like... <laughs> Bella Rose. There you go. Rolling with it. Bella. Yeah. Is- that's not that's not this that's not that race, Brian. That's a different race. Oh, but um, seriously, I love her so much. That's very cool. You just well, Bella, it was nice to meet you. Thanks Thank for coming you so on the much. show. Thank she you did, for yeah. having me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Fuck yeah. There she goes. Off to see her thirty seventh Dave Matthews band show, uh, <laughs> Bella Rose. Man, that's an interesting one right there. Um, every single week, we have a regular that goes up and does a brand new 60 seconds every single week. This week's no different. Put your hands together for the great Vanessa Johnston, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, guys. 
Um, I realized this week that I just look like a dumb white bitch. I look like one of those people that doesn't know how to spell earth but thinks it evolves around them like that last girl. (laughs) Which is weird because that's the outside but internally I identify as a hyper-intelligent grumpy old man (laughs) guys don't like it when I say that during sex (laughs) when I'm like yeah fuck me fuck me like I'm Steve Jobs (laughs) they're like are we role playing right now am I Bill Gates what's going on fuck yeah Vanessa Johnston that's incredible because that might be you know you know, pretty much up there with Sierra for like the set of the night. And what's crazy is that you write and perform a brand new minute every single week. That's really impressive. I loved that opening joke, you know, for you to acknowledge, you know, sort of get everybody on your side because it's so hard when you, um, you know, when you, you look like you to win people over. Uh, so I, that w- I was amazed by that. I think that's so cool. I think you could do so many cool different takes of that and have, and have that device, like, and really use that as sort of like your, like, X-Men secret weapon is sort of just throwing a curveball like that. This is your first time seeing Vanessa Johnston, right, guys? Yeah. It was great. Awesome. David Arquette <laughs> is, uh, That was one David for Arquette for getting to talk into the microphone <laughs> for the first time tonight. <laughs> That was one of your better sets that you've had recently. Uh, have you been going up? I mean, you were out of town last week. Uh, uh, did you get up anywhere in New York, or did you not have time for it? No, I was shooting all week, so I didn't have time. Um, it's a double masturbation video, or what were you... I mean, you know... <laughs> See, I, I, you I, were producing like it, I, I don't know what. Hopefully Pat's friend, but I was, you can't really do it now, I guess. What? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Vanessa, you kind of sound like a deaf porn star. Whoa. Whoa. Pat Reagan Whoa. taking shots over there. We're on our own. Shots fired. Um, he's having a rough night tonight, Vanessa. Don't take it. Uh, Are you, is your ball still hanging out? What? Nothing. Not okay. yours. This is getting awkward. <laughs> Vanessa, what did you do in New York? Anything uh, Anything fun? Um, yeah, I was, uh, I was shooting a TV show for Bravo. Um, it's my first producer credit so oh, cool. i was Bravo. in front of camera thank you that's great yeah. can you talk about it or are you, or are you sure, gonna say yeah that? um we're filming a docuseries about uh, an african royal family um they're the heir to like a seven billion dollar euro I fortune i saw this i saw it coming to america right <laughs> <laughs> this is great i mean <laughs> <laughs> Guy works at a McDonald's, everything goes good, he falls in love. Your royal penis is clean. Your highness. Your highness. Um, well, that's cool. That An African royal family that just came to America. That sounds interesting. Hmm. African royal family. Would you get paid? What? <laughs> <laughs> the accountant, Pat Reagan. I know, right? <clears throat> Well, that's fun. Anything crazy happen? Um, not, I mean, not really. It was just, you know, typical shooting. Do African royal people do something that uh, white royal people don't do? <laughs> like, do they, like, do they have their crown on a necklace instead of uh, <laughs> their head? Well, <laughs> the only... How do I think that's so much funnier than you people? <laughs> We've been through so much together. Our sense of humor should be matched up by now, but... <laughs> I mean, you have to really picture an entire crown on a necklace for it to be... <laughs> Not right. She's supposed to be, like, referred to as Her Highness, um, but she lives in Africa, uh, like, in New York, so the uh, the team wanted to do, like, the weirdest part was, like, they want to do a, a scene where a racist white person went up to the girl and was like, do you work here in her apartment? <laughs> and they made me be that person, so it was, like, really awkward. Oh, that was shit. the weirdest part. Oh, so- Oh, shit. Yeah. And my bullshit. boyfriend's black, so I was like, do nah, you work here? <laughs> They're like, that's not what we want. I'm like, I'm not the person. <laughs> so they had someone else. Boom. 
So I failed at reality TV acting. That was cool. Um, uh, so yeah, that's all. That's great. Mm -hmm. Anything else, guys? David Arquette, Steve Simone? Uh, I thought it was great that it was personality driven. You acknowledged how you looked and then all your jokes were built upon that. Because when you came out, I, you didn't hit it right away. You were like, uh, and I was like, why is this lady taking time if she knows she only has 60 seconds and she does this every week? But then you were like, oh, this looks like another dumb white bitch. And I was like, it played imperfect. It was good. Yeah. Yeah, the timing was awesome. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a it's so fun to watch what happens when all the blood rushes from David Arquette's head and uh, into another place altogether. Vanessa Johnson, ladies and gentlemen, there she goes. Yeah, yeah, timing's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really good stuff. Oh, uh, <laughs> all right. You guys want to pull one more name out of the bucket before we get yeah. the fuck out of here? Let's blow this party out. As you know, fucking anything can happen. Shit tons of pieces of paper going around in my hand right now. Only one will be pulled. Kevin Alexander. Come on, everybody. Kevin Alexander. Kevin Alexander, everybody. Come on. What's up, everybody? So ask yourself, when was the last time I heard this? So I'm a 47-year-old black man who loves NASCAR. <laughs> Been a while, huh? Yep. The reason I got into NASCAR is because uh, as a kid, I sucked at uh, stick and ball sports, which is a whole lot different than sucking at stick and balls for sport. Now, in NASCAR's 67-year history, they've only had four black drivers, and I think I could be a really good representative for the sport. I think I could bring a new meaning to the word racist. <laughs> I would let my Asian girlfriend drive on days when I'm sick. You know, I'll do shit like that. Fuck yeah, Kevin Alexander. Thank you, Red Band. Nailed it. Huh, that is interesting. A black NASCAR fan. Is your favorite part when they drive by? Uh, <laughs> golden pony. <laughs> golden pony Tony. Do, do you know uh, my friend Daryl Wright, a very funny comedian, also black. Uh, do you know him? No. Because uh, I do you thought think they all know each whoa, other? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, because he, I think he has the same, because he, he also, do, he works for NASCAR. He does the, like a podcast. Good for thing you're not a politician, show. Red Band. <laughs> do you know Max White? Max White, he was up Max here. Max White, yes, yes, yeah. yes. The, uh, but he also the talks, races. he does a similar favorite, thing. One of my where, favorite lines okay. ever right now from Pat Reagan. Good thing you're not a politician, Red Band. Yes, that is true. Well, I'm just saying he also does a similar bit. Because oh, okay. it, it also is weird for him. So you should mm. check out his comedy sometimes because it's very parallel to yours, I bet. Okay, so. what's his name again? Daryl Wright. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you know? Are you, are you, okay. He's one, uh, of the, he's one of the Wright brothers. <laughs> no two black guys can talk about NASCAR now, you hear? <laughs> no, I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying it's like that. I'm just saying he would probably find it interesting yeah. because he talks about it. How long, how long, you've really been a NASCAR fan for a long time? Oh, yeah, since I was a little kid. Wow. Watching um, Kale Yarbrough and Richard Petty way back in the day. Yeah, I lo you always know, loved NASCAR. Do you know Hinchcliffe, the I driver? Know. He's currently uh, the driver. somewhere yeah. near the top of the uh, Winston Cup. The only other famous Hinchcliffe in the fucking world. It's the, one of the best race car drivers. <laughs> it's true. Anyway, I um, uh, you know, just have unbelievable genetics, but, you know, no big deal. Um, Kevin, what do you do for work? I'm a parachute rigger. Whoa, uh, what? Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to say that word on yeah. this show. Uh, <laughs> you're a parachute what? Yes, last time I was up here, you called me a dirty rigger. Oh, I did? Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, now, yeah, I do remember that now, actually. <laughs> that, was a couple, that was like a year, a couple years ago, something like that. God, I do remember that. That was, oh, God, was that fun. One could almost say, I remember exactly how I said it. One could almost say, you were a dirty rigger? That was great. I remember I set it up perfectly. <laughs> how do you get into parachute rigging? 
Do you jump out of planes? Yes, sir. So you do that with people? Yeah. You're into all kinds of white people shit, huh? <laughs> NASCAR, jumping out of planes. I Dig mean, jeez, what, what else do you do? Pay your taxes? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, I got a whole bit on that. I love it. I well, take anything you want uh, of what we're talking about. Um, Kevin, so what else? Parachute rigging. Is that a full-time job? Yes, sir. We, oh, uh, my God. We uh, pack the parachutes that uh, come back through the atmosphere and rescue the capsule. When it, before it lands in the ocean. That is so fucking cool. That it sounds like a dream job. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's very stressful, but it's very rewarding. <laughs> How often do you do that? You guys are freaking hilarious. <laughs> 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 um, how often? Yeah. Uh, every day. You jump out of planes every day? Not every day. I, you know, I haven't jumped in a while, but uh, oh. you know, I've got over 800 jumps. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Jump man, jump man, jump man, jump man, jump man. <clears throat> hmm. Kevin, you uh, dating anybody? Yeah, an Asian. Is, she, is that true? Really, uh, an she's Asian not, she's girlfriend? not Asian, but uh, yeah, oh. I'm dating someone. I was gonna say, uh, uh, Sierra Cattell found a black guy real quick yeah, after uh, the white <laughs> and American and Korean. Um, I was going to ask how long it took to break her in. Not dating anybody right now? Is that what you said? No, I am. I oh, you are? Going on four years, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What's she like? She's a bartender. She's awesome. Do, she, uh, do you wear a shoot when you have sex with her? <laughs> Condom. Do you, a, do you wear a vegan parachute? <laughs> <laughs> Any fun? Anything else? Any other fun hobbies or anything like that? You like a master yo-yoer or... No. Actually, I do say skydive all the time when I yes. ask that. Yes, you do. I just realized that. Yes, you um, do. Uh, so. Off-roading and camping. Um, <laughs> ra- wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, Going to clan yes. rallies. I'm bad. I'm bad. I Where got were you raised? In Southern California, in San Fernando Valley. San Fernando to Valley. Extreme. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Do you Have you seen... Roading. Yeah. Have you seen? Uh, what's the? Cl- have you had any close calls on those? Any of those eight hundred jumps? Uh, no. But I was a test parachutist in the Navy. <laughs> right. <laughs> a test parachutist? Yes, sir. Right. It's crazy. What? Uh, so how, were there? Was close it an calls all there? Well, uh, you were like Sierra Catal. You passed all your tests. Nothing like, on that? Oh, Asian Harvard grad you met earlier? None of you remember? Okay. Curiously, the test parachute platoon is all black. <laughs> <laughs> give it to him. G- give it to him. Did you, uh... <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Uh, Are all test parachutists black? Is that a thing that they do? Like, eh, just make them a test parachutist. I only know of two black test parachutists. Wow. How many white test parachutists do you Lots. Know? Lots and lots and lots of white test parachutists. Wow. What happens if a chute fails? You got a reserve. Hopefully that one doesn't fail. <laughs> <gasps> wow. Does that, have you ever had a buddy where that one's failed for? Uh, I've known some people who've gone in. Wow. Really? My, my dad was going to skydive for his first time because his friend kept on trying to get him to do it. She did it all the time. So the day before he was about to do it, her uh, main chute didn't work, and her test got uh, tangled up to, with her old one, and she died. Wow. The day before. <laughs> <laughs> That's real shit. Rest in peace, pancake. Uh, <laughs> I'll never forget. <laughs> oh, that's fun. What ethnicity is uh, the girl you've been dating for four years? Uh, she's uh, white. What you, you said that like somebody's gonna shoot you out there. Uh, <laughs> white. Uh, is there yeah, more to that? German. She's um, white. In, she's uh, Indian. Oh, uh, Midwest mutt. Oh, she's just all kinds of white. The, the drinkingest kind of person. <laughs> yeah. You could be she, everything you've got. Ever. a little black in her once in a while, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, oh, oh. A whole lot, Golden uh, Pony. Anyway. Hey, are you going to vote for Hillary? Nah, man. Well, then you're not, well, then you're not totally white. <laughs> uh, um, no, he's voting for gonna, Trump. <laughs> are you going to vote for Trump? Nah, man. You're not voting. Uh-uh. 
You'll test parachutes, but you will not sign up for jury duty. No. This is, uh, well, jury duty, yeah. Mm. But uh, this whole political thing is a joke. You're just ignoring it. Would you have voted for Bernie if he was in it? Mm, I don't know, man. Our choices are just shitty right now. If you had it your way, who would be, uh, who would be president? Dale Earnhardt Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> He'd be a good one. <laughs> I like Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch wins a lot. Oh, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch. Good old Kyle Busch. Good old um, Kyle Busch. Kevin, were you, like, raised by, you know, <laughs> white people? <laughs> How do you even find out about off-roading? Like, what, what happens? Do you just see a white girl with a big butt, and you're just like, whoa! <laughs> Something like that? Pretty much. <laughs> uh, no off-roading. You go fishing ever? No, sir, I haven't fished. Oh, yeah. I haven't fished. I ain't that white. <laughs> you ain't that white. That's so funny. No. <laughs> Just a that's test you, parachuter. That's where you draw the line. That's where I draw the line. All right, Kevin. Well, it was fucking anything else for Kevin, guys? What do you think about this? You guys want to go skydiving or something? There's so much material there. Yeah. Like, I, I just want to see you do a longer set. I thought you were great. Thank you very yeah, much. You were awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. There he is, baby. Kevin Alexander. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. The great Kevin Alexander. One of the funniest riggers we've ever had on the show, uh, by far. One of the funniest riggers, by far. With a hard R on that. Two hard R's, actually. Uh, look, it's the drawing from Ryan J. Ebel, ladies and gentlemen. It was a blank sheet of paper before. I promised you there'd be a drawing there. All of, the, all of his prints are available at ryanjebelt.com, as is the official Kill Tony poster. That's a summer hot, that's a hot day theme, am I right? Fucking hot day theme. We're all in the pool. That's a cool one. Fun episode. Pat Reagan took a lot of chances tonight. We committed. Mm -hmm. I'll never, I almost don't want to ever talk about what happened and totally just let Red Band cut it out. And then if we just don't acknowledge it, then maybe it never happened. You know, if a, if a tree falls on a podcast and no one ever, and only the people that watched it live stream saw it, then. What are you talking about, Tony Hinchcliffe? Pat has been awesome all day since he came out. That's right. We don't want to have to edit this part as well. So that's a good point, Brian. Um, <clears throat> Pat Reagan's Patty Reagan. Anything else you want to promote, Pat? Nah. <laughs> Joel Jimenez, mostly sorry? At mostly sorry. I should have just let you do it. I'm sorry, guys. No, I love it. Joel Jimenez <laughs> literally with like uh, four of the best lines tonight. So funny. I will never know exactly how you knew that. Uh, <laughs> how you knew that that hippie was from uh, Calabasas. Calabasas. <laughs> I looked at her. That was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> the great David Arquette, ladies and gentlemen, yeah! one of our favorites. Thank you. Thanks for having me, buddy. Anything coming up you want to promote or anything like that? I mean, any... any uh, Sigmund and the Sea Monsters on Amazon. Oh, on yeah, Amazon. Yeah. Yes. That's great. Yeah. Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. You heard it here. Right. Straight from the Sea Monsters mouth himself. Uh, Steve Simone is uh, so fucking funny. This your, was so fun. Your Thank podcast you. is amazing. Your album is amazing. Every single thing you do. Thank you. Steve Simone. Your Twitter is at Steve Simone. Yeah. S-I-M-E-O-N-E. -E. Yes. And then we have a blood drive at Children's Hospital this Friday and Saturday. Wow. So if you guys can come out. A blood drive. Donate blood. I don't know if you really want Kill Tony fans' blood. Uh, yeah. I'm looking out there and they sort of look unhealthy. Uh, just kidding, guys. You all have just perfectly fine blood, everybody. I can tell they all got a little sad at that one. Um, a lot of dates. If you didn't hear them earlier, there's a ton of them. They're all at TonyInchcliffe.com. Check Oddball.com because I'm on that tour this year. And I'm at Boston's Wilbur Theater October 8th. Tulsa, San Fran, Sacramento, San Diego, all that stuff. TonyHinchcliffe.com for tickets to that. You're going to want to see it because I'm murdering so hard in stand-up. Brian Redband. See you later. Bye-bye, yeah. everybody. Thank you, live yeah. audience. Have a good night. Take a group picture real quick. Oh, but I was looking at your eyes.